What's happening guys, Celtic CC here. When I did that video on the Funnel Maze base design I'm using for my guild uh, for Turf Watch, there was a thing I didn't like about it and that was the fact I couldn't show you a successful run. Um, it was just the way it was, like I didn't have video footage of us clearing level 5, uh, stage 5, and you know the Les Sentinels weren't leveled up enough and the Arrow Towers weren't quite there. But just managed to clear level 6, uh, stage 6 of it. So I wanted to show you the video replay while it's still fresh in the data banks like. So just to show you what we're rocking with with regards to Sentinels, um, Cerberus is at a level 11, skill level 1. Winged Lion is at level 8, skill level 2. He's the only Sentinel to have his skill above level 1. Uh, Flame Stallion, level 8, skill level 1. Frost Golem, level 7, skill level 1. Briar Queen, level 7, skill level 1. So the Sentinels aren't the strongest you're going to see. Um, we've got three level 10 Arrow Towers and two level 9s. So again... You know, the Arrow Towers still need a lot of levelling up. And the Hero Bases are only at level 10 as well. So it's not the strongest setup. And I think to clear stage 6 with this setup is pretty good. And um, I'll show you the run now. And what, you know, what I like about this base design is it utilises the walls well, you know. The idea being that, you know, all the waves, you know, when they clear the buildings, then have to run through this maze which slows them down in all directions. And um, it just utilizes the walls well and utilizes the towers well because it gives, you know, basically gives more time for the towers to be putting down damage, splits waves, and things like that. So I'll show you what I mean now. And hopefully, you can see, you know, how the base works. So, this first wave was, you know, this is probably the weakest area of the base, but it ended up being quite a good first wave because it managed to split uh, Thunder God away. See here, Thunder God actually goes down there, which was pretty good. But you can see here, like, they're just walking at this wave. They're not doing any damage. They're just kind of walking through, you know, taking damage. And that's the idea, like, you know, of slowing down these waves, waves of enemies, and just, you know, putting them through this maze. They take damage from the arrow, tow arrow towers and then eventually get cleared by the Sentinels. You know, so we've got three waves on the go now, and they're all getting, you know, taking damage the arrow towers again this wave here you can see the maze coming into effect this lot are just walking through a maze taking damage you know i mean these are pretty difficult waves this was this one like i honestly thought this was going to be a failure because we lost um the winged lion there but it ended up being this ended up being a really good clear here because they got stuck on the buildings you know the sentinels went after them you know did a nice clear here they started um, putting damage down onto this uh, ninja, which could, this ninja could have been a real problem. So you see here we're down, there's three sentinels. Managed to clear the ninja. Damage being put down here in the middle. And by this point, it's kind of like, you know, we're down to one sentinel. Flame Stallion's dead. And it's down to the Arrow Towers now. But there's not enough enemies left for it to be a problem to clear. So hopefully that just kind of shows you, like, you know, how the maze design helps with these kind of, you know, setups where you've got, you know, uh, weak sentinels and your, your arrow towers aren't quite quite up to scratch yet, you know. It just kind of like slows everything down, makes them run through a maze, you know. They're spending more time walking and taking damage than um, attacking. And I just like it. I just, I just think this is like, you know, uh, an old school base design that's sort of like working on the principle of, you know, um, having weak weak uh, heroes to clear these kind of waves and utilizing the walls to the best of the, the base's ability kind of thing. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that show that to prove that you know the base is quite effective and I do highly recommend a design um, like this. I just think it's you know at the moment anyway. I mean I may have to change it once they upgrade the bases because it could be that you know all the all the sentinels start flying out over here and suddenly this won't be quite as effective but certainly while you know i'm trying to clear up to like stage probably like seven to eight nine perhaps and uh, the arrow towers aren't quite up up to the highest levels yet this base is very good okay cheers guys